Hello boys and girls, I hope you're well and having fun with your Lingo To Go packs and we're going to talk about something different today. But shall we start with reviewing a few things we talked about before? Get your colouring sheets with the clothes on them. Have you got them ready? You can pause the video and get them ready. Well done. Okay, here we are, so let's get colouring. Okay, boys and girls, can you find me a dress? Is this a dress? No, it isn't. Is this a dress? No, it isn't. Is this a dress? Yes, it is. That's right. Is this a dress? Yes, it is. They are both dresses. This is a long dress. This is a short dress. A long dress. And a short dress. Okay, what colour would you like your long dress to be? How about a nice purple? Can everyone find purple? Well done. I have a purple dress. Or oh, mummy is wearing a purple dress. Well done. Now, what colour should we colour the short dress? Where's the short dress? That's right. Shall we colour colour it pink? Pink. Did everyone find pink? Well done. Let's colour our short dress pink. I have a pink dress or oh, I'm wearing a pink dress. Okay, as you can see, there are, they are all summer clothes for hot weather when it's hot. Can you find me a sun hat? A sun hat. Can you find a sun hat? That's right. Shall we colour it blue? Find blue for me. Blue. I, I have a blue sun hat. Can anyone find me a pair of shorts? Shorts. Where is it? Where are the shorts? Uh-huh, well done. A pair of shorts. Let's colour it blue. Let's have a pair of blue shorts. Does anyone have a pair of blue shorts? Tell me, I have a pair of blue shorts. On your videos, tell me, who has a pair of blue shorts? Okay, can you find me a skirt? A skirt. Does mom and have a, a skirt? Or do you have a skirt? That's right, here's a skirt. Shall we colour it orange? Let's colour it orange. I have an orange skirt. Well done. Is anyone wearing an orange skirt? Say, I'm wearing an orange skirt. I'm wearing a skirt. Now, you can carry on colouring. Tell me, what is this? It's a T-shirt. That's right. Well done. And what's this? It's a vest. Well done, a vest. Okay. Okay, boys and girls, I would like you to finish your colouring sheets, colouring your colouring sheets, and tell me what colour you've coloured them. Tell me I have 
a yellow vest. I'm wearing a yellow vest. Or I'm wearing a, a white t-shirt. Mummy has a, an orange skirt. Well done, boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to talk about something different. Things that you take to school with you or use for crafts. Now, first of all, we're going to look at this. What is this? It's a pencil case, yes? I have a pencil case here. Mm -hmm. You can see my pencil case? And now we're going to see what's in my pencil case. Let's see what we have. First of all, I have a pair of scissors. What are they? A pair of scissors. What is this? We love this. It's a glue stick. Glue. What is it? Glue. It's glue. Can you tell me what this is? It's a ruler. A ruler. We use it to draw. Draw lines and measure. this? It's a pencil. It's a pencil. Well done. What is this? It's a pen. It's a pen. Well done. this? It's a pencil sharpener. A pencil sharpener. Touch something sharp. Ouch! It's sharp. Scissors are sharp. A pencil sharpener. Ouch. Makes it sharp. What is this? It's an eraser or a, a rubber. Eraser or a rubber. And what is this? It's a crayon. That's right. You know this. You use it for your colouring. It's a crayon. Okay. Now, we're going to play some games with these items. Scissors, glue, a glue stick, a ruler, a pencil, a pen, a pencil sharpener, an eraser or rubber and crayon. And we put all of these back into my pencil case. My pencil case. Okay, we're going to do some drawing now. Call mum on, mum on's going to do some drawing and you're going to do some guessing. Okay, we're going to start drawing. Mummies, get started. I've chosen orange to start with. I'm going to draw something. You guess what it is. 
It's a rectangle shape and it's got numbers on it. We draw lines with it and we measure. What is it? That's right, it's a ruler, an orange ruler. Now, guess what this is? We do drawing with it, we do colouring with it, and I'm holding one in my hand. What is it? It's a pencil, it's a pink pencil. Well done. And here's its tip. Okay, can anyone tell me what this is? Got two circles where we put our fingers through. And we cut with it. Any ideas what it might be? Any ideas? We cut paper with it. Cut, cut, cut. What is it? It's a pair of scissors, if I can find it. A pair of scissors. Now, a pair of green scissors, right? Now, can you guess what this is? We use it to make crafts. We wind it up and stick things with it. Any ideas? We rub it on our paper. That's right, it's a glue stick everyone. Let me show you. It's a glue stick glue stick. Well done boys and girls. So you can carry on practicing this activity with mummy and mummy draws, you guess. Ma you draw, mummy guesses. Well done boys and girls. Send me videos of you playing the game. Okay, Lingo Landers, it's time for exercise. exercise. We're going to practice counting, mm -hmm. recognizing the numbers on nine mm -hmm. sheets of paper. And your mummy or yourself are going to write numbers one to nine on one nine, to nine. To sh nine sheets of paper. And you have some pom poms. So you, could or put on, so you could put on just the top or the bottom. Which one do you like? Well, on the top, please. If we could count the number of pom poms representing what each number like? on what each sheet. Whatever they like. Yes. Okay, Sama, shall we get started? Yes. Can you find me one pom pom? Quickly give it to me and put it on number one sheet. Um, uh, 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 well done. Number one on sheet number one. So we go back and find me two, yes. two pom poms. Yes. <laughs> two pom poms for mommy. Thank you. They're the same colour. They don't have to be. We have one, two pom poms on page number two. two. Shall we go and get number three? Yes. Number three, three pom poms. Well done, running, you're so fast. So we've got three 
Green pom poms. Three, but number Turquoise. three. Turquoise. Turquoise. Okay, can we have number four? Can we have four pom poms, please? Four pom poms, please. One, two, three, four. Well done. Four. One, two, three, four. For our number four. Well done. And how about number five, Summer? Can you get me five, please? For our number five sheet. Well done. Well done. Five. One, two, three, four, five. For our number five. She's so fast, Summer. And next is number six. They don't have to be the same colour, but Sama's choosing to give me all the same colour. Let's see. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done. Six from number six. Now, shall we go on to number seven? Number seven. Let's see what Sama gets for us. Do we have seven pom-poms? Well done, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's great. Now, shall we go on to number eight? They can be multicolored now, like a rainbow if you want. Number eight, can you see number eight? Well done. Wow, all yellow. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight for number eight. eight. Well done. Now, let's go on to number nine. nine. Can we have nine? That's a big number, isn't it, Summer? <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Orange is nice. Or purple is nice. Mm, no, orange, just orange. <laughs> I need to be in a hurry. No, it's okay. Don't worry. We're not in a hurry. Okay. Let's see, did you count them? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. No, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Nine. And a yellow? Nine. And nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. No, we didn't do this. That's fantastic. You were so fast. No, no. Orange, that makes it nine. No, this well is done. Light. Lovely. So, Mark, can you give me a high five? <gasps> you did really well. Well done. Can you try that at home? Try it at home and send me videos and pictures. Count and, and write. And three. Well and done. Four, and five. And six. And seven. And eight. <laughs> and Girls and boys, we're going to make a craft now. It's craft time. We're going to make a nice pencil holder to put our pencils, our pens and our other craft material in it to store, to keep things nice and tidy. So the things you need are, you'll need a toilet roll or a kitchen roll cut in half, a piece of yellow paper and green paper, a glue stick, we're going to use all the items that we learned about today. A glue stick, some liquid glue, 
a ruler, an orange crayon, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and a pair of goggly eyes for our pineapple shaped pencil holder. Let's have fun making it. Let's get started. Okay, for our craft, our pineapple pencil holder, we're going to take some yellow paper, some green paper. I've already cut these out and I'll hopefully send them for you in your pack. Our green big circle is already cut out, bigger than the base. See, the green is bigger than this. The green circle is bigger than the small circle. So what we need to do is put the green circle down, pick up our toilet roll or kitchen roll and put it in the middle and draw a line around it with your pencil. What shape are we drawing? We're drawing a circle. We're drawing a circle. Now, what you need to do next is pick up your scissors. Where are the scissors? That's right, scissors. And we're going to snip from the big circle to the small. Can you see it? Snip, snip, cut. Only to the line, only to the line. So you use your scissors and cut from the big, from the outer circle into the inner circle. You turn it over and fold the tabs over like this. You fold them in. You're folding them in. Okay, we're going to put some glue on it now. We only need a tiny bit, not a lot. You can use your glue stick as well. So we put in a little dot of glue, dot, 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 on each tab, on each tab. Okay, put your cap on again, your glue, your glue cap on again, and take your toilet roll, put it on in the middle, stand it up, and glue your green circle onto the base. We wait for it to dry a little bit. Now that we've finished gluing, we're going to leave it aside for it to dry nicely. Now, you're going to take your sheet of yellow paper that we're going to wrap around your um, toilet roll and we're going to t draw some lines on it. You take your ruler and your crayon and we're go going to draw some parallel lines like a pineapple. Nice, strong orange lines. Well done. They call these parallel straight lines. And then you turn your page and go crossing those lines to make it look like a nice juicy pineapple. Orange lines on a yellow paper. What does that remind you of? A nice pineapple. Okay, we use crayons so we get nice thick lines. Okay, you put your ruler and your crayon aside. Then you take your toilet roll with a green base and wrap it round your and um, wrap the yellow paper around your toilet roll. Okay, to do this, we need some glue. So we're going to use our glue stick. What is it? It's a glue stick. Take the cap off, wind it up, and put some glue stick on, oh, sorry, some glue on your yellow piece of paper. Don't forget the edges. 
go round the edge of your rectangle. And once you've put the glue on, we're going to go and stick it around your toilet roll. Nice and even, you pull it tight so you don't have any air bubbles in, in between the paper and the roll. Okay, here we are, nearly there. What does a pineapple need? Some leaves. So we're going to put the leaves on. I'm going to use liquid glue for this one so you can ask for, for, for help from one more. We're going to put some glue on. The inside, you're going to put your leaves in, in the, the inside of your roll. So you put some glue on, on the edge, on the base of your leaves. So you pick it up and put it inside your roll. Yes, and just push it down with your fingers so it's standing up like this. Next, it's time for the eyes. Turn your eyes over and put some liquid glue on the back of the eyes. Just a dot of glue is enough. Another dot of glue. Mm -hmm. Put the glue cap on. Pick up the eyes, put them under the, under the leaves so it looks like a face. You have two goggly eyes. At the end, just to make it look happier, you can put a little mouth and make it smile. I've only got a black pencil, but you can use red to make it sweet. And here we are. So you used your pencil to draw a mouth. So here we are. You can use it, use your pencil holders for your classroom items, your pencil, your crayon, you can put your ruler in it and keep things nice and tidy. Send me videos of you making your craft and tell me what things you put in it and what things you used. I used a pair of scissors to cut. I used a pencil to draw. I used a ruler to draw lines. I used glue to stick my paper down. Okay, boys and girls, so send me videos of you making your craft and putting your items in it. I used a pencil to draw a mouth. A pencil to draw. My scissors. I use scissors to cut. Scissors to cut. You can put them in your pencil holder. I used a ruler to draw. And I hope you have fun making the craft. Okay, boys and girls, what is this? It's a glue stick, yes? And tell me, what is this? It's a pair of scissors. What's this? It's a chair, that's right. And what's this? It's a table. Now, I want you to tell me, where do I put the pair of scissors? Where are the scissors? They're on the chair, that's right. Where is the glue stick? It's, it's under the chair, the glue stick is under the chair. Where are the scissors? They're under the chair. 
Now, where is the glue stick? It's on the table. Yes? Where are the scissors? There. On the table. Where is the glue stick? It's under the table. It's under the table. Practice with mom one. Put different things on and under the chair, on and under the table. And ask mom one, where is my ball? Where is my glue stick and ask Maman to ask you. Maman says, where are the scissors? You say, they're on the table. Send me videos of you playing the game with Maman. Okay, boys and girls, it's song time. I want you to get a pencil, a crayon, a glue stick, and a pair of scissors ready. Because we're going to sing a song about them. Pencil first. What is this, boys and girls? What is this? What is this? This is a pencil, that's what it is. We draw with it, draw with it. What we do, we draw with a pencil at school. At school. What is this, boys and girls? What is this? What is this? This is a crayon, that's what it is. We color with this, color with this. That's what we do, we color with our crayons at school. What is this, boys and girls? What is this? What is this? This is a glue stick, that's what it is. We glue with it, glue with it. That's what we do, we glue with a glue stick at school. We draw with a pencil. What do we do with a crayon? We colour with a crayon. What do we do with a glue stick? We glue with a glue stick. What do we do with scissors? We cut with our scissors. Well done. Send me videos of you practising. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to ask you to call mom on. Say, mommy, mom on, come. We want to play a game together. Get some clothes ready, or you're already dressed, and we're going to talk about what you're wearing. Okay, I'm going to call Henry. Henry might come and help me. Henry, Henry. Mm -hmm. Hello, Henry, how are you? Mm -hmm. Good, why? Henry, can you tell me, I'm going to get dressed and the children at home are dressed too. I want to tell, can you tell them, what am I wearing around my head? A scarf. That's right, I'm wearing a scarf. And if I wanted to wear this, what would I be wearing? A skirt. I'm wearing a skirt. And what if I was 
was wearing this, what would I be wearing? A dress. Wearing a dress, that's right. And how about these? If I was wearing these, what would I be wearing? Socks. Socks. I'd be wearing a pair of socks. And how about these? Trousers. I'm wearing trousers, that's right. And what about this? Shorts. I'm wearing a pair of shorts, that's right. Okay, boys and girls, ask mummy, ask mummy, I, I, I've asked Henry what I was wearing or what I'm going to wear. So ask my mum, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a pair of trousers. I'm wearing a dress. I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing a t-shirt. Well done Henry, thank you. Okay boys and girls, it's story time. We're going to read a story and it's called Jamie's Magic School Bag. Are you ready? Are your books ready? Yes? Let's go. Jamie's Magic School Bag. Jamie is going to school. He is carrying his magic school bag. What's in your bag, Jamie? What's in it? What's in your school bag? Here's mine. You go and get yours and see what's inside. I have pencils and pens. Let me see, do I have pencils in my bag? I have a pencil. Do I have a pen? Let me see. And a pen. I have a pen too. And books and glue. Let me see. I have a book. And I have a glue stick too. Check your bags, see what you have in your bags. And crayons and rulers. Let's see, do I have, I have a crayon? And a ruler too. Do you have a crayon? Do you have a ruler? And erasers and scissors. Let me see, do I have an eraser? A rubber, an eraser? Yes, I do. I have a pink eraser. And scissors, let me see. I have scissors too. Do you have scissors in your bag? Let's see. What else does Jamie have in his bag? And a pencil case and a stapler. Hmm. I have a pencil case and a stapler. Yes, I have a stapler too. Does Bobo have a stapler? Or Mom on? And pencil sharpeners and tape. Let me see, do I have a pencil sharpener? Yes, I do, a pencil sharpener too. And some tape, I have some tape too. Do you have any tape? Do you have a pencil sharpener? Go and see. And a sandwich and juice, hmm. I don't have a sandwich, 
and I don't have juice. What a lot of stuff in your bag, Jamie. He had lots of things in his bag, didn't he? Look. Okay, go and get your school bags and check and see what's inside it. What things do you have? Do you have glue, a pencil? Do you have a pen, a crayon, a ruler? Or do you have an eraser or a rubber? A pair of scissors, a book, a pencil case maybe, or a pencil sharpener, some tape maybe, or a stapler. And tell me, in your videos, tell me, I have a pencil sharpener, I have a ruler, I have an eraser. Tell me in your videos. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to get your colouring sheets. You've already coloured the front, and now we're going to colour the back. Just to review what we learned today, what is this? It's a crayon. We use it for colouring. What's this? It's glue. We use it for gluing. What are these? They're paint. That's right, paint. Different colour paints. And a paintbrush. What's this? It's a ruler. We use it for drawing, drawing lines. And what is this? A pair of scissors. We use it for cutting. Cutting, cutting paper or anything else. Okay, send me your videos of you colouring your colouring sheet and telling me what each of these are and what we use them for. Well done.